Hello, welcome to another camp food taste test yet again in a bovvy. I retreated to the um, Battleburn bovvy here in the Summer Mountain Way roughly oh, three hours ago now to escape the rain. Um, I'm actually six miles away from Moffat uh, stroke Betox where I was hoping to end tonight. Um, but the, the driving rain caused me to give up and seek retreat. And I know it's just no, it's just as about to start cooking food, it stopped raining. Although I suspect the, uh, the land down there is still very wet and miserable. So, what am I going to do in this co rather cold bobby, which I have to say, full of wood, but I can't get the balloon fire to start. What am I going to eat then to cheer myself up? Well, it's just going to be one of those evenings, so it's got to be. Yes, it's travel lunch. This time, pasta carbonara mit schinken. Oh, sorry, I'm reading the German there. Pasta carbonara, just in case you couldn't work it out. Um, as ever, travel lunch, extortion expensive, £4.35, but very light. Yes, indeed, 125 grams and 431 calories. Well, I might need that if I can't get the fire going tonight, because frankly, it's a bit cold. So I'll be shivering away my bit in my sleeping bag. What is this gourmet delight going to be like? Let's find out. With the kettle now boiling, here is the uh, the contents of the travel lunch. Uh, looks like big piles of powdered cheese and um, I suppose there's some bacon in here somewhere. Goodness knows where. Uh, into this goes 400 millilitres of boiling water. Da, da, da. And you leave for 5 to 10 minutes. Well, in many ways, this looks the most appealing of all the travel lunches. Um, you can clearly see herbs and um, things in there. Um, well, what's it taste like? Mm. Actually, it's not bad. Could do with um, actually, really seriously, could do a bit of pepper um, in there. But for once, this is a travel lunch. It's not by any means displeasing. So there we have it, of all three of the travel lunches, it's the uh, pasta carbonara that seems to come out top. Um, what I found most interesting was that they seem to have managed to have somehow worked out a way, either deliberately, or it was just the way I was cooking it, I don't know, of making it, making the bacon bits feel like they were actually crispy. <laughs> Which is, you know, I mean, like I said, that could just be the way I was cooking it, or it could be really deliberate. If it is deliberate, I'm pretty impressed. Um, the one problem I had, which I had also with the travel lunch from Gary and Beef and Noodles, was that it comes out very soupy. Now when I did the pasta with Napoli tomato sauce, uh, I put in less uh, water to try and counter that effect. And what I ended up then was quite, was not, there was not enough water to, uh, to rehydrate the food. So, what's the solution? I, I don't know, I suspect Travel Lunch just need to work on their uh, water measuring slightly. Still, in other good news, you'll be grateful to know, I'm sure, and delighted to know that uh, that's the fire and it's busy warming away in this rather drafty, cold little room full of my stuff. Um, and I'm now going to sit next to the fire and and tell you how I did this. Uh, I did it with a liberal application of MEFs and therefore have uh, singed the top of my, uh, of my uh, palm hands, I'm afraid. But never mind, at least I'm going to be warm.
course, Rambling Man or UK does not condone the use of meths when lighting fires. Use of meths in lighting fires should be done in safe situations, preferably in your own home with a fire brigade present.